Hello my friends and adversaries, welcome back to BattleBok. Today I'm going to be talking about how fitness training can improve your live action role playing. Okay, first and foremost, and probably most obvious, is it improves your fighting performance. And one of the best experiences you can have in LARP is a good fight. Now what a lot of LARP fighters like to do is they like to learn traditional fighting techniques, such as traditional swordsmanship, fencing, kendo, that kind of thing. And that's great. But these traditional techniques, while they will give you more tools to use out there on the field, when it comes to LARP fighting, they do not compare to raw physical performance. When it comes to LARP fighting and similar sports like Jugger, the fitter, faster, more agile combatant nearly always has the advantage. This has given rise to a fighting style that's been nicknamed fitness fighting or sports fighting, where the movements are based on quick, efficient, natural reactions, or movements that are instinctive and natural for the human body, as opposed to disciplined techniques. The best of the best out there on the field are going to combine disciplined techniques and speed and agility coming from a very robust and effective training regime. Okay, on to the second benefit. The Fit LARPer has an increased longevity in all activities. They've got more stamina and it replenishes quicker, allowing them to not only stay in the fight longer, but also be ready for more at any given moment. Put this indomitable force in a choke point, like on a bridge or a narrow passageway, and watch the enemy lament. Anyone else getting flashbacks to the Battle of Stamford Bridge? <laughs> but of course the benefits extend far beyond just combat. The Fit LARPer is an absolute boon in camp. Carrying heavy goods, pulling carts, delivering really important messages, staying ahead of bandits, catching up to bounties, doing all the legwork on the adventures, you name it. They'll do it all day, every day. This is of immense value to a warband or faction, especially on the really long events that go over like a weekend or perhaps a whole week. The third benefit to being a fit LARPer is the reduced muscle soreness after a big battle. And I'm sure we've all experienced it. A day or two after the big battle, your legs hurt so much that you dread the thought of getting up off the couch. And if you manage it, you dread the thought of bending your legs to get back on the couch. This is called delayed onset muscle soreness, and it is very, very normal. There are a few things you can do to ease the discomfort of DOMS, but by far the best thing you can do is exercise regularly so that your body becomes accustomed to that level of physical activity. Then it is much less likely to get DOMS, or the severity will at least be greatly reduced. The fourth benefit of improving your fitness is it gives you more character options. Let's say you're wanting to play the dastardly rogue, or the village champion, or the wayward adventurer. Having some physical ability behind your character will give it more substance. And you'll get more confident playing that kind of role. Conversely, what is a bard if they don't actually have any music or oratory skill? I guess I'm just trying to find a more diplomatic way of saying, walk your talk. You see, you can actually tailor your fitness regime around a particular style of character that you like to play. For example, you can work on muscle mass and endurance to play a more stalwart dwarf. Or you can focus on your mobility and agility to play that more graceful and agile elf. And if you decide to change your mind, go for a different character later on, you've got a foundation there that you can use for any number of other options. Either way, this is bringing me to my next point. The fifth benefit to improving your fitness is improved character interactions. When you walk your talk, you are creating a more authentic and immersive experience for the other role players to enjoy. The other LARPers are more likely to interact with you and include you on other events. Basically, co-create with you to make for a much better experience. As the saying goes, confidence glows while ego blows. When you train and improve on your abilities, you are also improving your general confidence. You become better acquainted with your strengths and your capabilities, and you push yourself to new levels. Confidence is confirmation. When you have it, it can be seen in how you hold yourself, and people like that. Correction, 
the right people like that. Learned that the hard way. Finally, we're on to the sixth benefit of improving your fitness is it brings more of you back here into reality. You see, live action roleplay is more than just playing pretend. It's exploring a persona or scenario that you would find fun or fulfilling. And that has something to say about the kind of person you are on the inside. Your character is your creation, and like art, it is an expression of you. Training to perform or look like your character is bringing that inner creativity into physical reality. You are creating more of you. Even if you feel your character has absolutely no resemblance to you whatsoever, and you have no desire to explore that, you are still training your body. And your body is unique to you. So training it creates more of it, or a better version of it. Now, how might that inspire you in the future? Not just for live action roleplay, but for any other aspect of life. No disrespect to any of the antagonist characters out there, or the evil, dark, seedy, morbid characters and creatures that a lot of people like to create. We all have a dark side, and there's absolutely no shame in exploring that aspect of ourselves, or what we find entertaining about them, in a fun and safe environment, like live action roleplay. It's like I always say, my worst enemy could also be considered my best friend as they present me with overwhelming challenges that entice me to rise above, I guess you could say. And that deserves my respect. So shout out to all you dark, evil, morbid bastards out there. As long as you stick to the rules, keep it decent, don't cross any moral or ethical boundaries or any other person's boundaries, you're doing a good job. So, after all that, have I encouraged you to step up your fitness game. Do you think it'll improve your live action roleplay experience? I want to know. Whack something down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.